Hello everyone, uh, this is the next part in uh, Transport Fever 2, uh, Tropical Fun. Uh, we're here uh, riding a train out of Thornton, heading for Sacramento. Uh, this time around, I'm going to be extending the, uh, the train line from Sacramento onward to, um, I believe it's Laredo, and possibly points beyond. It'll depend how much fiddling it takes. Uh, now, doing this uh, should uh, extend the uh, uh, coverage for Thornton, which should uh, cause it to grow more, but it should also, um, well, it should, uh, should help everything along the line. Uh, so what we're going to end up having to do is, uh, you know, build some tracks and then fling more trains up this line. Um, oh, look at that. It's a floating bridge segment. Um, obviously, the uh, developers need to do some work on that sort of thing, but I'm actually more concerned about game of functionality than uh, uh, the aesthetics of uh, floating bridge pillars. I mean, the uh, signals have been, uh, the signal masts have been floating beside the tracks forever as well. Uh, so I'm going to, you know, jump out of the train here. And we're going to go up to um, Sacramento here. Now, to get out of Sacramento and on to Laredo, I'm going to need to uh, go through the town. Uh, and of course, that means we have this road here is in the way. Well, we've got 23 million in the bank, so uh, I can just go ahead and uh, remove the thing that's in the way and then we can go ahead and uh, fling in some track. Um, right, of course. No, that's not what I wanted. I want it to come out of here level. Uh, yeah, level. Uh, oh, right. Um, I should also see if I can get the uh, track through here. Oh, for pity's sake. Well, well, that's that's possibly tolerable. I'll take it. Now, uh, I need to bend around this way. Okay, so I need to get past the edge of the town, uh, which we can do this way. Yeah, that's uh, tolerable as well. Uh, okay, well, that should be enough to avoid too much um, uh, development issues from the town. That's flat, and that's flat. Okay, we'll do that. Now, before I get too far, I'm going to need another platform here. Uh, right, passenger because now we're going to be stopping here twice and I think I'm going to need a third to bring it down around to Ventura. Uh, but I'll uh, build that uh, when the uh, time comes here. Now, uh, right. Uh, oh yes, I need, uh, I need one of these. And you know, let's put the uh, roof on as well. Uh, good. Uh, now, of course, to make this work, we have to, yeah, we have to uh, uh, connect the uh, platform up. I think that got it right. Okay. And we also need to connect up the track that we're just building. Now, this is going to be a through service, so we don't need to cross over here. Now, we need to bend around. Oh, I think we want to come in over here. So, if we come around like this, well, well, that's about the right angle. Well, let's uh, take that out and fling this around here. Uh, just like so. Exactly like so. 
Uh, apologies if there's a bunch of noise right now. Um, I forgot to turn off the uh, thing that's blowing air everywhere. Uh, right, okay. Um, yeah, uh, I should put that uh, road back while I'm thinking about it. Uh, now, can we get a bridge? Eh, well, not that way we can't. Uh, okay, so if we go across here... Now, if we do that, that's tolerable. Okay, let's take that. And... Yeah, we'll take that. Uh, that uh, shuts up the thing that was complaining. Now, uh, I think this road here is in the way. And this road is definitely in the way. Okay. Now, if we fling this around here... Yep. Uh, that's a bunch of flinging. Now, uh, I think we can get away with a level crossing here. Yeah, that should be fine. Uh, yep. And then this can, can come down this way to reconnect. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be good. Now, where am I going to put the... Uh, oh, this is an ugly... Uh, town layout. Where am I going from here? I'm going this way. So, oh my, what do I do with this layout? Uh, well, I think I'll put the train station over here. Okay, buildings. And I'm going to need two tracks on the uh, train station here. Okay. Now, I think if I put it here, Um, is that the right place? Yeah, I think it'll do. Okay, now I'll uh, bring a track out here. Uh, right, I, I think I want to stay on this side of the main road. So we'll come out straight here. Now should be okay going across that road. Uh, yep, that's uh, level, so we're good. Right. Uh, now we can fling this around. And we've got, as the colonel would say, a cheeky tunnel. Well, I think I'll take it. What do you mean, think you'll take it? You did take it. Yeah, well, you know. Now, I'm going to need a crossover here, not that way, uh, because I'm going to terminate the service here initially, and I'm going to need a signal or 12. Well, we'll start with signals here, and we'll put a few over here. Uh, right. Yeah, and some signals in the tunnel, because why not? Okay, we need a signal here. Yeah, and another one here. That should do. Right, okay. Um, now what do we do? Uh, oh yeah, we need to uh, connect up the uh, town over here. Right, okay, so we need one of these. Uh, okay, it can go right there. Uh, we obviously need to connect the street up. Yep. Now, uh, we're going to need a... going to need one of these here. One of these over here for sure. And one of the, and we're going to need a cross line here as well for sure. Okay, so we'll do it there and there. Uh, see, this isn't ideal because of the town, but this should do initially. Um, okay, I also need a Dewey. 
Uh, so we'll just uh, fling the Dewey in there. And yeah. And we need uh, you know, tram tracks. Because I uh, find that trams work uh, fairly well for local uh, transport. So that's why I use them. So we're going to buy... Um, this one's 25. Yeah, we'll use the stud bond. Um, uh, right. I think we're going to need three of them on this line, uh, which is going to go here. Uh, now, right, okay, so this is going to be the, you know, what is it? This is Laredo. So this is going to be P Laredo uh, Commuter A. Right. Uh, then we'll uh, come along here and we'll get three more of them and we'll run the cross line. Right, so this will be the Laredo commuter B. Okay, so that should get uh, that running. Now we need to come along over here, grab this line. Um, yeah, okay, so we're going to need to manage the line. And from Sacramento, uh, we should wait for that uh, train to leave the station, I think. Uh, just because it'll get stuck otherwise. Okay, come on, leave. Then I'm going to have to renovate the trains, of course. And there we go. Yeah, this was uh, under capacity anyway. Okay, so we can go here and here. Okay, and it rejiggered the platforms appropriately, so that's good. Uh, okay, we should be good there. Now, oh right, I need to change the name of this. So it's going to uh, Laredo. Uh, okay, now we're going to manage the vehicles. What have we got on here? Uh, well, let's replace it. What have we got available? We've got, well, we've got the Mogul, which does 75. The 10 wheeler does 100. What do we have for uh, passenger wagons? Now, they only do 80. Okay. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll go with the, well, the Mogul. Yeah, we'll go with the Mogul. And we'll grab uh, Clear Stories. Uh, yeah, we'll go up to 64 capacity. And we will uh, duplicate that twice. Uh, now the reason for that is it's a fairly long line and I want to uh, to make sure that we have enough capacity to do uh, something useful with it. Now uh, where are we? We're trucking along there. Uh, we have a train exiting here. Well let's up the tempo so we can uh, ride this around a bit. Uh, right. Well, uh, since we need to wait a bit, let's, uh, you know, let's just hang out on the train here. You can see the ships on the water there. Uh, so that actually is kind of cool. It's, it's kind of a good uh, view, actually. So we'll uh, head around here. So we're going for Thornton. 
Uh, well, okay, yeah, we had to wait. Uh, no, that, uh, that bridge pillar is not so ideal. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, because we stacked up the trains when we launched them, that's why. Okay, so we're not going to pick up too many passengers here. You know, the trains will need to space themselves out a little bit before we can. But, yeah. Oh, we picked up four, so, you know, that's not so bad. Right, this actually is kind of cool, you know, the uh, bridges as we uh, come out of town there. Hey, and, uh, yeah, we just, uh, now, of course, we've seen this track before. Uh, you know, as we, uh, trundle along here. I kind of like what they did with the skybox on this, uh, setting here with the, uh, uh, the, the, uh, rainstorms or, or, uh, whatever in the, uh, distance there. Uh, right. Uh, so we're coming up on Sacramento here. You know, I really do like the approach there. And you know, we're going to pick up like one or two here. Four, apparently. Five. Now this is our new track here. So let's see. Well, yeah, those, those crossings are okay. That bridge looks ridiculous. I kind of like it because it does. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, we're coming across the, uh, the plane here. Um, yeah, there's our, uh, level crossings out in the, in the country. And our cheeky little tunnel, which, yeah, it is a little tunnel. And here we're coming up on our, uh, train station way outside of, uh, Laredo. Now, I think we've uh, probably slung more trains at this than we need to. But that's fine. Okay, so that track is working okay. Um, yeah, we're, we're doing okay here, I think. That's 20 passengers waiting. Oh, wow. I might need more. Uh, yeah, I need at least one more tram on this line. Okay. Yeah, because that's doing a pretty heavy duty there. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, that should uh, that should keep it moving. Uh, right. So anyway, uh, let's close that. Let's see how Laredo's doing here. Well, uh, you know, it's grown a bit. You know, that's uh, that's not too bad. Uh, how's Sacramento doing? Um, yeah, not terrible. Not, no one doesn't have a lot going for it, really. Uh, now how's Thornton doing? Well, it's, uh, well, it's doing its thing, I guess. Uh, okay. Uh, you know, how's this doing? Uh, we got 70 going for Berkeley there, I think. Uh, oh, right. I want to change this to say multi-hop, right? Uh, do I need another train on here? I might. I got lots of trains on there, actually. Well, but that is a long line. Yeah, it is. Um, <laughs> we're uh, bringing in real cash on it, though. Uh, oh, maybe it... 
No, it's losing money. Um, is that because I've just... Uh, No. Uh, okay, charts. Uh, finances. Um, yeah, our running costs are higher than our uh, income on it. Uh, well, um, Maybe I have too many. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, when we get better trains, I'll fling some of those at it and we'll see how it does. Because we're, uh, we're losing substantial money on that one. Yeah. I wonder. Well, let's, uh, let's try something. So we'll... Uh, edit all of them uh, and we'll uh, we'll change all the trains to five car uh, right yeah uh, like that, like that. This will uh, reduce our running costs, but keep our capacity the same by taking uh, two locos out. Now these are, those are moguls. So we'll modify that. Okay, so now we're running five car trains there. Um, uh, but two fewer. So uh, we'll see how that does on the uh, running costs compared to the uh, capacity. Um, yeah, I think that might just be enough to turn it around. Uh, that's, uh, that's an important um, point, actually. Um, the uh, locos don't earn you any money, but the uh, passenger coaches do. So if you can reduce the number of locos per passenger coach, uh, you end up with uh, a higher uh, net, uh, net gain. Oh yeah, that's definitely uh, better. Uh, with the, uh, even if it just breaks even, I'll be happy because then I'm not losing money. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'll keep running that the way it is, and uh, this line, uh, the other one, to Laredo, yeah, it's uh, it's doing better. Um, I may bring it up to five car coaches at some point as well, but I'm not sure of that for sure. Yeah, I'm not sure of it for sure. Uh, yeah, well, you know, it's kind of redundant, isn't it? Oh, how many are uh, waiting here? 57. One train will be enough to uh, to cover that off. Um, okay, the trains are sort of kind of spacing out now. Yeah, that should be okay for now. Uh, right. Uh, well, I think that's probably, I think that's probably going to be the episode here, uh, you know, plumbing that in. Uh, next time, uh, I think I'll, I'll uh, send a spur up to, to Ventura, or uh, actually... I think it would be a spur up to Denton. Yeah, maybe. Uh, and maybe I can... Uh, yeah, a spur up to Denton, and maybe later I can bring a, a rail line or something through Ventura and land on Greensboro. 
uh, with a uh, phenomenally uh, honking great uh, bridge or tunnel here. Uh, maybe I'll uh, I'll add a uh, a ship route up to Ventura. Yeah, maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, let's take a look here. Before I go, uh, we have. Oh yeah, we need more uh, more capacity on here. Uh, let's just double it, and uh, we're we're definitely going to need uh, more capacity on here. Just add two more. Uh, so we're running six on each now. Uh, hopefully that uh, that ke that gets things uh, rolling better. Um, right. Let's take a look at yeah. So we've had some growth here in Laredo already. Uh, so yeah, that's um, that's okay there. Um, you know, I've got some. Uh, uh, some cargo type stuff I can possibly do around here as well. Right, anyway, uh, that's going to be all for uh, this time around. Uh, next time around, uh, more uh, fiddling around with uh, uh, trains. And uh, yeah, maybe we'll get, uh, get a couple more towns over here connected up. Uh, or over here. And uh, yeah, uh, that's... Uh, that's going to be all for, for this time. See you next time.